Today we're going to check out some new electric motorcycles from Honda with the DAX E and more that were just announced in China and wait, before everyone clicks off this video, remember the trickle down effect. Because this is only the beginning as Honda irons out some of the kinks before releasing them on a worldwide scale and of course we end up being last on the totem pole like usual when it comes to new bikes. With that being said though, let's dive into what was just released in China. As these three models are the forerunners of Honda's goal to introduce a total of more than 10 new electric motorcycles globally by 2025. And first up we've got the Honda Zoomer E and if you're not familiar with the Zoomer name, it's what the ruckus used to be called overseas and while the normal Zoomer has been updated over the years, we're still stuck with the same ruckus that hasn't been changed in, I don't know, 20 years? Back on topic though, the Zoomer E has a range of 50 miles and we'll get to its top speed shortly but it tips the scales at 119 pounds and for comparison the ruckus that many of you are familiar with weighs in at 194 pounds. And when it comes to pricing, it has a price tag that converts over to around the $900 mark, which isn't too shabby, but sadly the world doesn't always work that way on straight currency conversions. Now personally, I think this is the ugliest one from a design perspective, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments section after we check out all of the new options. Then we've got the Honda Cub E, which of course takes some inspiration from the best-selling motor vehicle of all time, the Super Cub, with the most obvious design trait carried over being those 17-inch wheels instead of those tiny 10-inch wheels like what's on the Zoomer. She does come in a little lighter but only by one pound and I've gotta say I think this thing looks pretty cool in comparison to the Zoomer E, but what do you guys think? And would you pimp around town on this little thing? Up next, we've got my favorite of the bunch, and that's the new Honda DAX E, which obviously takes a page from the original DAX in the new DAX 125, but with a few tweaks. First off though, I like the design, but come on, you've got to find a better way to throw in a swappable battery pack in these things so there's not a big box hanging down there ruining the overall pretty sleek design it would have if it wasn't for that. But in its defense, it does have a larger 1152 watt hour battery instead of the 960 watt hour setup in the Cub, but with the same 400 watt motor, which in return helps to increase its range that we'll get more into shortly, and its curb weight matches is the Zoomer E at 119 pounds and that's a pretty significant drop from the DAX 125 that comes in at 236 pounds. Now when it comes to the DAX and Cub, you don't have a normal key but instead you get two NFC cards to wave around the NFC sensing area or pair the bike up to your phone via an app and you're ready to ride. I wanted to download the app but not really feeling secure enough to download their APK file to see what it's all about. Why? Because China! But here's the QR code if you want to give it a whirl yourself. And just in case you're a little too sensitive, that was a joke and nothing more. Back on topic though, personally I'm not a huge fan of all these electronics just to turn a bike on as we all know this stuff doesn't work 100% of the time. Whereas a key does, but I'm a boomer and these are aimed for Gen Z, so throw everything I just said out the window. But when it comes to the Zoomer, it comes with a smart key like the Super Cub 125 here in the USA and a few other models. Now to the elephant in the room. You may have noticed those pedals and scratched your head as to why. Well, in China, they have three different classifications with electric motorcycles. As you can see here in all three of these models we've covered are lumped into the EB group, making them classified as electric bicycles, hence the pedals. And in return, that makes their top speed 25 kilometers per hour, or for us here in the States, about 15 miles per hour. But how about their range on a full charge? Well, the Zoomer comes in at 56 miles, and the DAX drops off a bit at 50, and the Cub lags behind at 40 miles. Yep, definitely not something to get excited about when paired up with its top speed, but you have to keep in mind what these particular models were designed for, and clearly it's not for hopping on the highway and eating up those long distances here in the States. 
which is why I'm super curious to see what kind of range, charge times, and speeds the models coming out in the very near future will have when it comes to those models that Honda is aiming at releasing for us here in the US, Europe, and so on. Which leads me to some questions for you guys. What kind of range and overall performance would you like to see out of the electric models that are on the way? Whether it be a full-size motorcycle or small bikes meant for hopping around the city like these. Plus, how many of you would like to see one of these models imported by American Honda? And what price tag would you pay for something that's pegged out at 15 miles per hour? Honda does pay attention to these videos, so let your voices be heard down in the comments section and let's talk about it all, as these videos aren't just for me to ramble on. But on that note, thanks for watching, and if you'd like to help support the future of these videos, please consider checking out the membership options by clicking on the join button below, or check out some of the other links below to help support the channel. And that's a wrap for this one, thank you again to our supporters for helping to keep this train chugging along, and we'll see you guys in the next one.